Welcome everyone to Day 20, where bad rules make great role playing. Uh, just one announcement. Um, I know last time I discussed about uh, the winter holidays coming up and us having a break. Um, I got some confusion. Uh, the last episode of the or last session that we recorded for YouTube for 2024 will be airing on um, December 24th. And the next one won't be out until... Uh, I have to have a look at my calendar, actually. I didn't prepare for this. Uh, won't be aired until the 14th of January, 2025. So we're having a two weeks um, uh, break. Um, so officially, we'll be finishing on the 17th. But for you viewers... The last episode or last session will be aired on Christmas Eve at 7 p.m. GM time for all you to see. With that, let's go around the visible table and introduce you all to our lovely characters and their chaotic players. Or is that the other way around, Rain? I don't particularly know. I, I get confused with you guys. I feel like it's both. I think it's both. I think it's both. Okay, let's start off with Rain, shall we? Oh, joy. I don't think I've actually ever gone first on this one, so thanks for my time finally being first. Um, hi, I'm Rain, and I will be ba playing both Rue and Crash as per last uh, session. Rai? Uh, hi, I'm Rai, and I'm playing Anakitos, the Phoenix Fighter. Uh, Steve? I'm playing Shadowrim. He's a Dragonborn Paladin. Jack? I'm playing Paul Betteridge, who is our human rogue, a man with a plan. Dan? I am Rekomar, our Alden Warlock. And last but certainly not least, Neil. I am Para Stormsinger, a half elf bard. Awesome. And with that being. And with that, the players are ready. I am ready, I think. Let's dive into tonight's session. The Sagas of Caledra. Frostfall. And we're back. So, last time, the happy few battled against. Uh, can I remember? Can I remember how to pronounce her name? Alexia. 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 Yes, we're going to go with Alexia now. And Ozon, two members of the Circle of Eight and their followers. After the struggle, they defeated them, but only one got away. Dumb Facetus through a witch-like portal, 
Luckily, Anikitos grabbed the wooden model boat from them. After a short rest and picking up a creepy sword, the party walked through the portal. But threw you around the vortex. As the portal began to close, you all got separated. Rekamar, Piraeus and Shadowrim were flung out onto a cliff edge. After a few perception rolls, they found a cave, only to find a large horned creature eating a carcass. Out of few stealth rolls, Rekamar Piraeus got around the beast quite easily. Shadowrim, however, did not. Meanwhile, Paul and Akitos found Rue and Crash in a storage room within the High Rock Temple. Crash bandaging, bandaging up Rue's ear, only to be found out that he is actually helping Rue. After a few words of exchange and Rue slowly getting her mind back, you guys set off to leave the temple to go through the underground caves, only to, only to find stone carvings on a wall, predicting possible future events if Dracon was to be released. And that is where we're going to start tonight's adventure. So... You guys see the wall in front of you. you oh good, we it. actually have ambient music. That was terrifying. I actually fully <laughs> flinched. <laughs> Where was I? We saw the wall. You saw the wall and you hear a roar from the other side of this of this um, tunnel of um, ice tunnel. And you hear the voices of Pyraeus and Rekamar on the other side as well. No idea. Okay, I'm gonna book it towards them. Okay, book it towards them. Are you all doing the same? Or? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you come to this very narrow zigzag um, area where you see Pyraeus and um, Rekamar trying to get Shadowrim through this very small ice crack as you see be beyond um, Shadowrim there's, there's this large very white hairy horned creature charging towards you First of all, every, first of all, you'll be saying hello to each other because you just yeah. you just bumped into each other. <laughs> I am trying to figure out how to get to the other side of this wall, and I have two character sheets in which I'm trying to work that <laughs> out. In. Whilst you're uh, just, you can all discuss this amongst yourselves. Shadow him. Yeah. Be rolling, you'll be rolling initiative. Ten. Got twelve. Okay. What did the... Oh, I have to change this. Okay, so you got ten. Got twelve. Happy few, what are you doing? How are you going to save your friends? Okay, I'm going to say to the rest of the party, I can't let him stand on his own. I'm going in. Um, if I could move my token, that is. Yeah, you will do it. Hey! Hey! <laughs> well, I just reckon and myself are blocking the corridor, probably. I think we should move back. Yeah. It, how big is this? Is this crack, sorry? Um... A normal human can squeeze it <laughs> quite if, it's, if they're very flexible. I ain't beating real thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're, we're, we're not trapped. We're not um, kind of trapped in there, are we? We no, moved no, no. in. Yeah, you moved in. You're on okay. the other side. Right, can I suggest we back out then, clear the way, and then we can, might be able to set up a diversion for. Um, Shadowrim, or to help Shadowrim. 
Rash will volunteer to go through that crack first. <laughs> I could try and widen it. Uh, please no. <laughs> hey, can you chuck something at this creature, Rakamar? No. Uh, don't need snowballs. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm not just now. You got right. a chance. Yay! Right. Technical right. difficulties. Shadow Women, you're, you're on top of the initiative. Uh, what do I want to do? Uh... Absolutely. So you know, as this is a big creature, I'm yeah. going to be ca casting Shield of Faith myself. 22 on the acrobatics. You somehow you managed to sneak through, well, slip through the, this icy crack of this um, tunnel, and you now enter the battlefield. The battlefield. Oh, I've also casted that shield of faith on myself. I now very position, just kind of with my side ready in myself. Okay, Jack, could you roll me initiative, please? Of course. <laughs> that is eighteen. So, fortunately you're going to miss this round, but the next round you, you go first. Anything else you want to do, Shadow? <coughs> Let's see, can, what can I do? No reaction, no. Okay, I'm not at a sharp rest, so no, I can't do anything. You can't do anything? Nope. Okay. I'm extremely tired from the past battles. It's No, come on. <laughs> I mean, come on. So he... Surely that's a cliff, right? Yeah, but he jumps over it and lands here. And... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I can do a dex. <laughs> what we're looking to do a dex is terrifying from the DM. That's 15. So he managed to jump quite nicely. And he's going to attack you. Okay. So he makes three attacks, one with his bite and two with his claws. So here we go. A nine misses, so he tries to bite you. You somehow duck underneath his his, his massive jaws, but he's gonna try and swing swing his um his this giant arm at you. Four Dirty twenty. Miss. So you managed to duck under them, roll under. He's going to attack you with his other claw. For 15 that's well. as well. Jesus Christ. He's missing. So you basically, somehow you're just dodging all, all of his taxes. You're dodging his I'm bites. Gonna I'm going to cast that spell. Yeah. <laughs> right. Paul, you're up. Actually, no, before Paul. I would like to move back into the chamber. My goodness me. It goes. see the creature from where yeah you can yeah from the little crack in the um 
in the in this small little crevice you can actually see this huge abominable creature is uh, yeah <coughs> in that case can I make it do a deck save please okay sure. as I cast a sacred flame So the web A4. He will take um, 14 plus my uh, radiant soul damage, that's 18 radiant damage. Double that because he is incredible fire. So it's radiant damage. Oh radiant damage, okay, that's fine. So it's just Did someone say vulnerable to <laughs> well, I only wants to hug him. I oh, said pyre, not fire. fire. <laughs> ah. Of course, vulnerable to pyres. Me too. Okay. Um. Phew. Anyone else want to do anything before Paul starts his? Am I able to move out, or do I move on my initiative? You managed to like move that out now. Okay, I don't know if you change or anything. I can't be next to someone next to Paul then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look a bit vulnerable there. Thank you. Hi, friend. Hello. <laughs> Come on. Do Crash. Get in there and protect me. Um, how would Anakitos feel if Crash? Grabbed both Anakitos and Ru and basically tried to yank him straight through. Oh Jesus. Um, do you have Depends to on how many bones you break. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have to do this. You won't all three of them have strength and resentment. Rank saving throw. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hi. I'm hoping my bad luck from last session carries through. What? Don't worry, Crash has it no. instead. Ah! <laughs> Crash did not pull any of the But managed to get through. Holy shit. We've got a So both Crash and Boo are now on the other side. Which you know what that means. Yay! <laughs> could, you, could you make me initiative for both your characters, please? Um, Bane. Yes, this is fun. First up is Rue with. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> Mark, can you take your bad luck back, please? <laughs> no, 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 please. Sharing is caring. <laughs> I've got advantage with um, Crash, but that's fine. That's a 21. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Bruce 8 is, it's probably, I think, the lowest she's gone in a very That's long time. Eight, eight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, on the top of the initiative then is Crash. <laughs> I would like to rage. Okay, I'm gonna rage. I'm gonna rage. <laughs> and I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna go and take myself over to the correct character sheet. <laughs> and, um,. He thinks a nice good great axe to that guy's to that thing's head is gonna be a fantastic idea if he can reach it. Snout will go as high as he can. So um Above table crashes in the hole. Crash is up It's fine. If I keep hacking at the kneecaps with a twenty-four as a hit <laughs> Eventually I'll get to the head. Does the twenty-four hit? Great. Max damage as well with a 15 there. Nice. Yeah. And I'm um, gonna go again on that one as well. That's only a 13, so that's probably missing. What was it, sorry? 13. 13, yeah, that misses. 
so he managed to get his kneecap and he's like Ugh. but then when you try to get his arm he just like moves his arm out of the way and just mm -hmm. like he looks at you like what the fuck are you doing little dragon I'm gonna go on ahead and use my bonus action to do my dr a draconic cry to give everybody advantage on their attack rolls against this prick until the uh, end of my next turn! Until the start of my next turn. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm being helpful! <laughs> <laughs> and that is all Crush's own. I'm gonna make sure he's up as well. Okay. Neat. Right. Good. Timing. So, um, I will use my short bow for an attack with advantage due yep. to Draconic Cry. Oh dear. Oh no. Well, uh, it only produced one attack. Let me roll it again. Okay, so that was a 25. It hits. Oh. Yeah. 23 piercing damage. Okay. Um. <laughs> hmm. What am I best doing? I'm going to try and be a human shield for Rue and just get in front of her. Oh, okay. thank you. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. Okay. Uh, who's next? Pyraeus, you're up. Well, St. Paul uses bow. I've got one of them somewhere. I'll get my bow out. And I'll give it a go. Right then. I knew how to do it. Oh, here we go. And it's not gonna hit. That's a 14. Oh, with advantage, wasn't it? You yes. do have advantage, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. Advantage. Oh. You've got this. Understand. Can someone not tell him, please? <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, that'll be 17. Yes. Yeah! So that says five damage. No, I think I rolled a one. And the actual one I do. Um, oh, am I? Oh. Yes, you're just mocking me now, aren't you? No, no. Um, like 10, 20, 30. I'm going to move over to here. Okay. Just to spread out a bit. Okay. Oh, and um, I'll give Shadow Rim. A um body inspiration. There you go. I can't work out where it is. It is. Okay. okay. You've got the shadow in. The shadow in it's your turn. Right, well, the creature's just come swinging at me, I'm just gonna go right back at him and take two swings me uh with advantage. With advantage, yeah. So that would be a 25. Hits. By 13. <laughs> and then the second one. I'm going to use my inspiration. Oh, that's, I, need to, I need to fix that. Oh no, 13. Misses, unfortunately. Anything else you want to do? Uh, uh, no, that's all I can do. So he's looking very bloodied and battered, but he's still eager to eat. Uh, it's his turn now. Now he's going to have to crash. Yeah, okay. So he's going to grab. Bonus actually is going to grab you and he'll make a strength saving throw or roll even. 
Yep. That's a ten. Yeah, go for <laughs> so I tried, I tried to pick you up, but you just basically just hacked his hacked his hand his his like his his like fingers like dangling off now. Just like with his skin, you know, afterwards. Yeah. So it's good so he's just got swiped with his other claw. This is comical. It's like, it's, like a, it's like a mouse. 21 will hit. 21 will hit. There you go. You put, you, it finally hit. So it's seven points of dungeon or slashing damage. Can you make me a strength saving throw as well? Another strength saving throw. Okay. Um, 23. Okay, And then seven, seven. Are we rounding that down? Because I'm raging. Yeah. That's no, that's. No. Yeah. He's gonna attack you again with his good hand claw. For a. Never does it here. No. So you just basically duck under his uh, his large hand, and then we try and bite you for a shit. Nineteen. Yeah, that does hit. Yep. Okay. That's fine. Rue, you're up. <laughs> Moonbeam. <laughs> yeah, you sure? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Moonbeam it is then. <laughs> Do I need to roll anything or? Uh. The <laughs> um. Yeah. Constitution saving throw. And it's going to take half this damage um, if it succeeds. Five. Yeah, one to fifteen, so it's taking all of that. So it's what? Uh, where did it go? Uh, fourteen. Okay. Radiant damage. I, I would hope so. Um, um, anything else you want to do? No, nothing else I can really do, bro. Uh, oh no. Um, could you please do um, a con save, PC CT, as Rekmar will cast? Frostbite. Give you disadvantage on your next attack. I'm okay. That's fine. I'm I'm not meta gaming, so frostbite, yeah. Frostbite, yeah. Is it? Sorry, don't, don't need to roll for that. Is it Dex or Con? Uh, Con. Sorry, yeah. Okay. Oh, got nineteen. Nice. So yeah, you pass anyway. So I don't take any damage. No, it's only a cantrip. What does that key to us? Um, I probably would like to be on the other side of this. Okay. And uh, so. Um, can you make me an, uh, an acrobatics, please? Um, I can do my best. Um, however, it may take a miracle for this to succeed. Um,. <laughs> Yeah, oh, and he just a little on the tall side. Okay, oh. <laughs> you cannot squeeze through. You are now stuck on the other side. Like stuck in this little gap here. Yeah, pretty much. Ah, uh, kind of starts going through. It stops abruptly, and it's just gonna like exhale slowly. Like, okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Top initiative. <crash. laughs> Um, I think we all know where this is going. <laughs> yeah, um... That's a 24 to hit. Hits. For... 
Yeah, uh, nine points of damage. And then round two electric boogaloo. Oh, 13. Doesn't hit. So the first one hits his abdomen. And then he yeah. just kind of like, with his giant steps, he takes a few, a few paces back and then whilst, he, whilst you're going, whilst you're doing your second attack. Anything else you want to do? Um. No, I'm gonna hold out for now. Okay. Dropping the short bow. We're going into the fray. Make an attack with the evening star. Mm hmm. Twenty-eight to hit. That's twenty-seven damage. How? Stab through the liver. Pull the blade out. Can we finally rest now, ladies and gentlemen? see the beast slowly dying as he is crawling to his little hovel up here and you see the blood trailing behind him as he just collapses on the snow and just is dead. That was badly tragic. Going up to collect my short bow. Yes, well, we need to get ourselves somewhere safe. Okay. Are we wanting to rest here? I would say it's enclosed. Uh, I guess we should check it out first before we make a decision. Mm. And we need to get Anakitos through this. Um... <laughs> I'm so no. sorry, I cannot get out. <laughs> um, I will obviously drop Moonbeam. Um, there's a couple of options. I could either try and turn you into something small, or I could turn you into a cloud of gas for a little bit, enough for you to potentially get by. I don't know. Gases forms are probably not. Flying to me ten feet. Actually, yeah, it would work. Your choice. Do you want to be gas, or do you want to be a tiny creature to get through? Oh, now being gas sounds far much more comfortable. Gaseous form. Oh god, can I can I even touch Anakitos? Because I've got to be able to touch Anakitos. I can stick my arm out really far. <laughs> <laughs> He's very tall. I, I, I'm just sti sticking arms in and out of cracks. <laughs> and gaseous form. On Anakitos. Anakitos is now. Gas with a. Yeah, large. <laughs> gas. Flying speed of 10 no! feet. <laughs> this is like a slower <laughs> version one, Anakitos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Um. Yeah, as soon as as soon as I'm sure that um, gas cloud and Akitos is through, I'll drop the concentration. Okay. Yay! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that is fun. We should do that more often. I'm having a look around the room, see what it's if it's safe. Okay, you have a look around the room and there's quite a lot of furs and corpses around. Mostly they're proper furs and mummified corpses. As you can tell, they are 
some sort of priests that have been left down here. Like they're wearing very grey, very tattered grey um, cotton um, garments on. Do I recognize it? Make a history check. History. That's a three, so no. You have no <laughs> idea what these people are, or, or who these um, individuals are. Crash? I believe you know who these people were. Crash is focusing on trying to make himself small as and invisible as possible because he knows that there are people in this room that might be mad at him. <laughs> <laughs> Does he answer? No. no. <laughs> uh, can someone just tell us what the fuck's going on, please? Crash has rescued Rue. And he I will stand up for him. No, he did not. He's explained himself. And he wanted to turn over a new leaf. He was actually working to help us out. Despite putting the Queen at risk. Yes, he put us all at risk. Yes, I understand that. But he's given a full account of himself. And he wants to do right now. Mm. Okay. We shall have to see, I guess. He had already escaped us. He didn't have to come back and speak to us. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to make the effort that he has to try and recover a shard. And he's got some information. Okay. It may take a while before I trust him, but I'll take you at your word. Do you trust me, Pyros? That's what I said, I'll take you at your word. Good. Then but his word is as good as mine. Okay. Are we going to rest here? I think, um, and this is Brie talking, I think it may be best for you guys to rest. You all seem tired. I won't need to rest too much because, uh, elf. I'm sure someone can cover me for the four hours that I will need and then I can do the rest. Then I can take a watch because I, I, I rested fully last night whilst some of the others were were um, resting so they were blood guarding so I can certainly take part of that watch um I can also aid us by creating some shelter but I need to cast a ritual spell to do that it'll take 10 minutes yeah 10 minutes I think and if we do that, I need you all to be sitting close to me, or standing close to me while I cast it. It will protect us. And once it's cast, you'll be able to move in and out, but um, I don't know, what, what's the, where's the best place for us to do this? Mm. Do, we want to put, do we want to do it up here? Or hidden in the corner, maybe around here, or do we want to be right in the middle of the room so we can see everything coming in and out? If it's the spell I think you mean, it doesn't really matter, because you can deny entry to anyone. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But I'm thinking from an observation point of view, do we want to be as concealed as we can be, or do we want to be in a position where we can see things coming? Um, this is this is rain talking here. What is stopping us from literally putting it at the one entrance and just making it so that no one can actually come in? <laughs> just block it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Gonna, well, so just do it here, and then nothing can get past us. 
Is that the only entrance? There's an entrance here, which is out onto a uh, like a rocky precipice. Mm. Um, yeah, whichever the biggest threat is, I suppose. I think probably the rocky thing over the tiny itty bitty crack that you have to be a ninja to get through. Fine, let's do that then. We do something like, I don't know what it's going to do. Oh no, it's going to do it. So I want to kind of do something like this. It's a 10 foot radius. Foot radius. Oh, okay. Bigger than that, then. So it's like uh, bigger than that. It's yeah, three. Like that. Yeah. So it's about that size. So, John, can I just sort of wedge it in the entrance way? Sure. Yeah. And just to try and get it as close to the walls as possible. But everyone will need to be in that area when I cast it, and then you'll be able to move in and out freely. But you have to mm -hmm. be inside it when I cast it. Okay, let's do that then. It'll take 10 minutes of me mm. prancing around, waving sticks and shit. Anybody know what Yeti tastes like? Sicken, probably. It's a monster. You probably shouldn't eat it. <laughs> we have rations. We got lots of rations from... Um, I like how Beckhamar is still in the crack area. Yeah, Beckham, he'd like to widen the path okay. uh, with a, a few dozen Eldritch Blasts. Okay. Do you want to do that now when we get up in the morning? <laughs> uh, I'm just thinking well, it's quite a good want to spend, point at the moment. I don't particularly want to spend eight hours over here on me lonesome. Not like, he doesn't want to like... He wants to sort of chip it away slowly. Yeah, He's not yeah, just yeah. going to start blasting a brand new pathway. Okay. Uh, are you doing it like three times or just once? Uh. Well, uh, I got ten minutes for the spell, so I'd probably cast it continuously for a minute, but two sure, beams yeah, each, yeah. so yeah. twenty beams. <laughs> yeah. Can you roll me um, attack, please? Yep. How many do you want? <laughs> uh, this is two. Okay. Uh, we've got a two. But for a ten. The ceiling of the chamber and starts to shake. Uh, the two acts they hit the ceiling and the chamber starts to shake. Um, but <laughs> nothing happens. The ten hits one, one side of the, um, of the wall and has carved a new bigger entrance or bigger it's more wider for you to go through now uh yeah and if, if it's wide enough that reckon i won't struggle too much you'll just go through cool easy easy <laughs> So is everyone having some sleep, are they? Yeah, I will be. Okay, so are you picking up tents or are you just... Well, I'm okay. waiting for what happens after this ritual. <laughs> yeah, I'm casting Levi's tiny hut. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, and you're in this little tiny hut. Um, it's like, I would say, like, the tent from Harry Potter where it's small on the... On the on the outside but big on the inside or like the TARDIS shall I say but like there's like beds made there's the cushions it's very warm inside okay could I take this moment to address the party as I plan to okay <sighs> there's been three members of the inner circle killed two of them by my hand we must recognize that this is war and they have the upper hand 
we're the underdogs here. We don't have the support that they do. They're everywhere. They've even come into our tavern rooms on one occasion. So, if I may, I'd like to make the following recommendations. Starting with our paladin. Shadowrim. Yep. Those, those javelins that you have they're equally as powerful as my sword. You could use one of those as a spear. I agree. Uh, I do have some plans for this. I plan to get a so possibly a sword forged with them. And in the meantime? Well, yeah, I'll, uh, in the meantime, I will be using them as either javelins or possibly spears. And you'd do well with the shield as well. What's that, sorry? You'd do well with the shield as well. Uh, no. I I focus more on great swords. That's where my focus lies. A shield would not help me. As you decide. And that brings me on to my next point. We're far too noticeable. How often does a dragonborn travel with an owlin and a orange tainted man? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what am I? Am I meant to repaint my skin? I prefer you didn't. It's. It, the point is, we're too noticeable. If anyone comes looking for us, they'll find us. Even... we can pass among the common folk. Myself, Piraeus and Rue. But our looks are known. From now on, I recommend that we travel... robed and hooded. Now, Rekimar, I need you more than anybody. Your knowledge of the arcade. Mm, well, I'm about to tell you. Your knowledge of the arcane. Are you aware of something that can allow us to contact people at great distance? Am I DM? I do not. Unfortunately, does not. Okay, well, sorry, go on. Nope, he said no, matter of factly. Okay, well, um, do you have something that. Do you have knowledge of something that would prevent magical scrying? to be able to locate someone. Mm. Roll me an arcana. <laughs> okay. Could I help him? Can you? Yeah. Is that too uh, advantage then? Fifteen. You know how to, and you, but you need to know the actual um, ritual to stop scrying happening to yourself and other party members. But you know of a spell mm. that that could happen. That this could, you know. Yeah. Mm. No, of spell. Mm, not quite sure. Read something 
years ago. Ah, so that's a dud as well. Okay. Um, Rue, I will need to speak to you privately after this. Oh, okay. Are we having private conversations? Do not trust us? I do trust you, Pyreus. But? There was never a but. Hmm. Understand that we are under war here. They've got the upper hand, like I told you. Is it, Pyrex, is there anything that Queen Ellen can do to help us? I mean, now that she's been found, I know the Umpakove, they don't want anything from us. So they might be avoidant in sending us help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got no way of communicating with her at the moment. Um, I was hoping that as my power increases, if my power increases, I might be able to um, develop or acquire something that might enable me to. Okay. But certainly not at the moment. Right, that's fine. We need to find Fitzroy. We need to be properly armed for what's coming. Oh, who's Fitzroy? Ah, uh, he was a colleague of mine in Shadowrim's. Okay. And what did he do? What could he do? He's got a sword like mine. Hey. So are you looking to reintegrate him into the group or just ask him to give you the sword? I just want the sword. Hey. Do you know where he is? He went home, which we didn't have the wit at the time to ask where that was. That's why we need to find him. Do you know where his home is? No, we don't. Ah, is this why you were asking about scrying spells? Mm-hmm. And the like. Okay. Hey, yeah, I can't help with that. <laughs> Are Get. you ready to speak now, Rue? Okay. Just you and I. Okay. Okay, so Paul takes Rue into somewhere where they won't be overheard. Yeet. Yeet. In a direction. Sure. Yeah. It's all been a bit rushed, I know. Are you feeling okay? Um... When I don't feel like there's impending doom on us at any given moment and we actually kind of have a chance to breathe without worrying about being murdered, maybe... Maybe then I can answer that question, but for now... I, th I think I'll just... Keep going on as I am. Okay. Um, the follow-up question I have... Does raising the dead and using your powers trouble you? Oh, that's a difficult question. I understand how it bothers a lot of people and it definitely doesn't bring a lot 
of good memories, but at the same time, as horrible as it sounds, it's almost like a comfort. I don't find that horrible. In fact, that's exactly what I'm looking for. I am not Anakitos. Anakitos is not here. What I would encourage you to do is make it awful. Make it as awful as you possibly can. We will wage a campaign of terror against our enemies who would destroy the world. And if anybody asks, you can blame it on me because it was my idea. Yeah, um, I'm going to pass on that one. I, I, like, I am understanding where you're coming from in all of this, but I don't think that this is necessarily the way to go. You're asking me to purposely make a member of this group uncomfortable. Anakutus is not going to want to fight by my side if I continue to raise the, the, the dead. I'll only do it now if Anakutus asks me to. Because I respect Anakutus too much to not. My apologies. I was not aware. If that's how it's going to be, Rue, that's how it's going to be. You're not okay, and I can already see that. This is getting to you because you wouldn't have asked me to do that. If you were okay. You're starting to lose yourself. You need to stop and take a break. Think things through. Your judgment is clouded. I don't think that... <laughs> okay, yes, I can see that it's a concern. It's well calculated. It will work if it was to be done. I think it is better to be loved than feared in this day and age. And what you're asking me to do will only bring fear. That's exactly what I want, yes. And I suppose that is where we differ. Okay, okay, I will stop asking. Okay. I'm sorry, Rue. I... I didn't mean to impose. I just thought that... This would help our cause. It will help your cause, but... I don't my know cause. if my cause aligns with yours and necessarily this group, if that is the... the, the way we have to go about it no i took this action upon myself nobody else has asked for this it was my decision so just blame it on me me only you have not had an easy time in the weeks that it has been With me missing, have you? It doesn't matter. What matters is the safety of the world. Yeah, let's just make sure we fight in a way that ensures that there's still a world. Be safe. And we're done. He nods and just walks off.
Rue's just kind of gonna stay separate for a bit, mull her feelings over. Realised it was heavy. Sorry. <coughs> sorry. Anyone else will do any up? I'm all good. You're all good. Uh, yeah, good. Okay. So who's taking first watch? Free will. Okay. So after a while, everyone nods off and starts to sleep. You're covered up with your um, your winter clothing that you've been given, and you, um, you know, uh, stand watch. Can you make me a perception check, please? Yep. Perception check. Can I make sure I'm with <laughs> you. Oh, yeah. What do you get? Thirteen. Thirteen. That's really bad so, for you. On the, you hear on the wind through the cave a weird noise. It sounds like a roar, but it's so faint and so echoey that. barely could hear it and it's just picked up by your uh, half elven ears you look around I mean they were elven but yeah they're probably half elven at this point yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> you look around but you don't see anything time comes for is it Piraeus you're taking second watch I can do yes I'm happy yes. to so Rue you go into the tiny hut and you gently wake Piraeus up. I will mention about the yep. wind, and it seems weird, but I can't see anything, but it, it's a bit weird. Keep an eye out. Will do. Piraeus takes second watch. Could you make me a perception, please? Oh. Being eight. Everything seems um, alright with you? Yeah, don't know what she was talking about. No, there's no, no, no. There's no. There's nothing. No noises <laughs> on the wind. No, no noise on the wind. Uh, hours go by and you, nothing happens. Um, is it just you you're taking second watch or, or someone else? Um, no one else that they were going no, to. Okay. You see... Who? Yeah. Sorry, no, go on. Uh, you see from the cave entrance that morning is rising as you see the first rays of, shun of sunshine um, hit the cave entrance. But you notice everyone's still asleep. Okay. So, who, uh, who had a, a full night last night other than me? So I can't remember who was watching. So who had exhaustion? Uh, Paul had exhaustion. I can't remember who else. I think I did. You did. I think I did also. I think it was the three of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. So I might wait Rekamar then for the third watch. <coughs> as, no one, as no one volunteered beforehand. Okay. Uh, you wait. I mean, yeah, your choice is Rekamar or Crash, and I don't think you're going to want to go near Crash. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, I trust, I trust Paul, but I'm, yeah, I'm going to be a bit wary for a while, I think. So you wake, wake uh, him, him up, and you take yeah. the last few hours of watch. Could you make me a perception, please? Yeah, can do. 
Uh, 15. You hear on the wind coming from where the um, small crack, but now it's a larger crack in the ice cave. Come, it's coming from. So like there's a, so the, like there's a draft coming from where you guys can come in, and you hear this faint roar on the wind. But with your owl ears, you can actually hear it quite, quite better, and it's coming from that direction. Mm. It's it's quite far away, but you still hear something on the wind. <laughs> yeah, reckon I will focus more of his time to walk uh, in that direction. Okay, but nothing happens. You look around and there's nothing there. The party starts to wake up. Uh, could everyone roll me a, a straight d20? A straight d20? Yeah. Have I got to roll twice, one for each of them? Yes, please. <laughs> uh, three first. Fourteen. Okay. Eight. Two. For I, I also got a two. Okay. Both Rue and Shadow Rim wake up first. Oh, and Crash as well, also got two. Okay. Wow. So you three walk out of the oh. tiny hut, seeing uh, Rekomar sitting on one of these, well, next to one of these ice pillars, uh, looking around for this wall, or this, this some sort of creature that's making this, you know, this, this noise. Yeah, Rekomar will... Alert everyone to what he heard. Yeah. So you see these three coming out of the tiny hut and walk towards you. Has that been a long rest? Yes. Okay. I've knocked off some Russians from exhaustion. Something outside. Okay. Fantastic. Far away. Not close. Well, outside the big entrance are for the small crack. Uh, I reckon it was the small crack that reckon I heard it from, I believe, so. That's where he negates to. That way. Heard some time ago. Nothing since. wasn't close when heard noise. We have certainly come to a lovely place. <laughs> that is definitely true. There could be more of these creatures of Possibly. At least not hard to kill. Whilst you th four are talking, you see Piraeus come out of the tiny hut as well. Not far behind him is Paul. Stretching and just trying to open their eyes. After having a nice long sleep. Hmm. Uh, Rabbit Mar will again let them yeah. know yeah. Okay. about the noise you heard. Well, Ruth said something about that last night as well. I thought she was just hearing things. Rue's just going to do that thing where she looks mildly <laughs> insulted. <laughs> I just shrug my shoulders at her. He's maybe mangled, but I still <laughs> hear fine. <laughs> it's trauma. Oh, I can give you trauma. In any case, down that way, we saw writings on the wall. 
Not so much runes, but they were predicting things. I can't explain it very well. It was in yellow writing. Yellow? Hey. It was, was in it writing? It, no, it was just carvings. Mm. Okay. Right, wreck on that then. Carvings into the wall. Hey. Hmm. We were able, Crash and I were able to solve the riddle that was on <laughs> for the last time. Honestly, I, I, I'm not quite sure how he's as intelligent as he is, but we were able to nonetheless solve the little riddle back and forth. Um, and that's why Crash brought me here. We needed help in the last little bit, which I can give. If we find that tomb, or some tombs. And they're here, aren't they, the tomb? The tombs? Or tomb? Tomb? Yeah. Atop the mountain. Okay, I think... From when we got here on the um, ledge, yeah. we were a fair way up the mountain, weren't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're a fair way up the mountain. We might be able to get up there. We can either f maybe fly. Hang on, how many of us are there? Mm -hmm. we might. Seven. Mm -hmm. Reckon I can fly. I can transform oh, as no. Rue is into something that can fly. So I not, could, no, I can't. I can only do I can try, polymorph. I still can't actually fly. I've got a grappling hook. I can get up there. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I, I actually, I probably can get everyone up there. Um, I'd need to cast fly several times, but I can. Oh, no. I could gas uh, form a couple of people for an hour, moving them at ten feet. <laughs> <laughs> so I could do... I could do two people twice, and then me separately. Um, but that's going to use three of my higher level sort of spells. I but think... I could, but we can do that. It's an option. It's, better, it's safer than climbing. We, ha we have a couple of potions of fly still, right? Yes. That's a good point. We had three, yes. Tara had one which she get said she gave me all hers. Anikitos has one and I had the other one. So I've got yeah. two and Anikitos has one. Yeah. Yeah, that covers a few. Um, I do have a thing that I can... That can allow me to fly for a single minute. But I will fly for 60 feet, double my movement. <laughs> which is, yeah. But I must land once I finish my movement. Well, if you allow me to take one of the potions of flying, mm -hmm. I will carry Crash. Yeah, I... Last time we tried to carry each other, that did not go well. Can I make a suggestion, Paul? He's crashing significantly stronger than you, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Yes, Would it be yes. better for Crash to carry you? I have yet to successfully carry this man. I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I could not accept that, Pyrrhus. <laughs> you like being in control, yeah? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, fine, yeah, we could do that. Crash, what do you say? Okay. Sure. I, 
think that settles it. Oh, yes. If you stick close to me, if anyone does fall, I can probably help them. I may pull him off into something that can climb a little better on Rue's front rather than try and use a spell that means I have to try and figure out a way to land. Okay. Should we get it on the ledge first and see how far we've got to go? Yeah. So do we need to be at the Sky Temple or do we need to be somewhere else? Sky Temple, I think. Mm-hmm. So what makes this sense? Is- place you came from down the crack does that that goes does back. That lead into the sky temple yeah it does there's tunnels that expect they'll go back to the high rock temple oh um, mm-hmm. can we not just do go that way would that not be easier that's what i was thinking why are you yeah. fly? <laughs> 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 yeah, let's, let's not fly. Let's 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 get ourselves back through the crack. Bloody hell! They bypass all the guards, and yeah. yeah, maybe. You know what? This current rate for the viewers at home that it's going to turn into a drinking game of how many times we say the word crack in, a, in this session. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Let's head back that way. Okay, you head back through the crack. Uh, can, is anyone going to wake Anakito or Sock? Because oh, yeah. I'm still <laughs> yes, fucking <Anakito>. sleeping. <laughs> I'll just I'll dispel, okay, dispel. Okay, I will do it. No, dispel yeah, the heart. The, the just get spell very has collapsed <laughs> around them. Ah, uh, the spell can collapse all at once. I'm fire, baby. I'm warm <laughs> as fuck. I'm taking five more minutes. Are you... Are you yeah, but do you not feel the cold? Um, I don't know, to be honest with you. I, I say, run very hot. <laughs> I'm just you probably would. Oh, okay. I don't feel the cold. I'm taking a note of this. Okay, I'm just going <laughs> to shake him by the boot. By the boot? Anakitos. Mm. Hello. Mm, what? What is it? It's the morning. We've got to go. Oh. It is? When did that happen? I thought we just fell asleep five minutes ago. Ah. It happened overnight. Oh, God forbid. Okay, I'm up, I'm up. Alright. Anakitas has kind of got a look around himself, kind of clock he's the last person up. Like, now how did this happen to me? Oh. He'll, he'll get up and... He needed the rest. He, he did. He was tired. He was very eepy. Um, kind of readjusts his mask to be on straight, because it was probably knocked, kind of skewed in the night. And otherwise, he probably doesn't have that much to pack, so he'll just toddle off after everyone else. If I had a watch, I would tap it. I am going so fast right now. I am speed incarnate. There you go. They keep you up to date, um, Anakios, with everything, and you all start packing, and you head through the crack. How wide is the crack now? Oh, it's quite wide. You can fit through it now. I might have to, um, um, like bend a bit to get your he- get your head through or your body through, because it's because qu- it's quite. Um, What's the word? Uh, not narrow. It's low. It's low. So for a dragonborn, you have to, you know, keep your like bend your back to try and get through. But you, yeah, you easily I've, get I've, I've, I've played limbo before. I can, I can <laughs> do it. <laughs> and with that, we're gonna take a 10, 15 minute break, and then we'll start to get. The happy few through the icy tunnels of and cracks and cracks <laughs> and the hole you didn't know was there and the hole you didn't know was there <laughs> and 
and the ice spirits. I mean, what? Um, so we'll see you all in the next 10 to 15 minutes.
and we're back. So, the happy few is now where well, you're now walking through the icy tunnels of uh, the underground's cavern system. All around you is just ice. There's a few, there's a bit of um, rock that you see that is mostly covered up by ice. And within the ice you do see things in it. If you things? Want to things. What things? Humanoid creatures as well as uh, mammoths that have been frozen over time as you go through these um, small and then large archways through these caverns. Are they intact or are they rotting? Uh, they're mummified. Okay. So you can tell they're, they're long dead and uh, they're, they're kind of like they could move and they could come out of the ice whenever but you can tell that they've been frozen there for some time. Like probably for like over 10,000 years. Oof. Yeah, that's a damn good fridge. <laughs> uh, this, in, with this, in this time frame, if anyone wants to roleplay, now is the time to do so before we carry on. Mm. How long is this corridor? Or this passage? It's quite long. Um, I would say you've been travelling for about four hours now through these caverns. Oh, blimey. Um, have we gone past where Rue and Crash were being held then? or? We well, have to ask them. Have we gone past where you were being held? Have we? <laughs> Have we? Have we, DM? Um, make a perception. Uh, for Crash, it's a 14, and then for Rue, it's an 8, because that was a nat 1. Okay. Crash doesn't say anything. Rue doesn't know. Okay, I was there as well. I'm going to try my luck. Okay. 18. 18. Uh, you haven't got past it, but somehow you're... This is a completely different area to where you crash Anikidos and Rue came from. Right. So when we came through the portal, yeah, we like landed and then we kind of went, "Oh, what the fuck are we?" And we walked into the that kind of cave, yeah. and then headed for the crack. And then that's when we saw the others. Yes, because they so came from, yeah, and yet he, he, they seem to have been here several hours before us. Ooh. Okay. Bit of time distortion. A little bit, yeah. But this area of where you're walking through now is completely different to where Crash... Uh, crash route. Paul and <laughs> Did, he does. Were there any alternative routes as we've walked along here, though? Um... We could have taken, or is... You know... Make a otherwise, the ice, the ice is everyone, shifting. <laughs> I was going to say, make a perception. Is that everyone or? That's everyone. Oh god, again. 21. 21, okay. 20. 30, 20. 3. Okay. A room and. <laughs> 16. So Six. There haven't been <laughs> any other um, tunnels or passageways yet you have seen. And we didn't see any tracks where they've come down here or... No. 
So is the ice shifting then? I don't know, is it? Or are we getting somehow magically jumped around? Or is a wild speculation? Could this be some kind of defense mechanism to stop the, people? The ice and the cold will kill. That was a part of the riddle. I assumed it was going to be some sort of a creature that was potentially going to kill us, but maybe the actual ice will kill us. Rue's going to hmm. take a look around to see if any of the walls are closing in, because she's had a really dark thought. <laughs> in any case, our best move is to move outside as soon as we can. I mean, I appreciate we're completely surrounded by ice, but um, is there any light getting in here from outside, or are we totally under artificial light? You're under uh, um, artificial light. Okay. We best just keep going, or we turn back. Not an option. We move forward. And we move forward. Okay, you move forward. Mm -hmm. After about an hour and a half of going through the tunnels, or the icy caverns, there's a fork in the road. Pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist Why? it. Why? <laughs> it's my age it's the dad jokes I know bless you um, <laughs> one is more icy tunnel than the other one is a, is a rocky tunnel is, is there any tracks or disturbance on either path uh, you can't see or you can't tell Any preference, guys? I'm suggesting the rocky route. I agree with rocky. Yeah, sure. Rocky will do for me. Makes really no difference. Both will lead to trouble. Sorry, Rekamar? Both will likely lead to trouble. <laughs> well, there is that. I'm just thinking if we, stay, if we stay away from the ice as much as we can, we're less likely to get trapped by it. But... <laughs> At the same nice. time, this this could potentially be really bad. What if it's a red herring and... No, no! More horrors. And whatever happens, either way, we are moving as a group. If one besides it, more horrors. Do, does either passage look like it's inclined upwards, or...? Uh, one looks like it's going upwards, the other one looks like it's going, like... Sort of like a zigzag, but it's going in this kind of like on a horizontal line. So which one's which one is the incline? Uh, the rocky one. Okay. Okay. That, re that reinforces my decision. I think. Everyone else agree or disagree? No. It sounds good to me. Fine. No. Okay. Take that road. We've got a Concorde. So you go up the rocky path. A few minutes later, you, um, Rekimar, Pyreus, and Shadowrim, you notice the stone panels um, on your right hand side that the others told you about as you're walking upwards um, through this cold but not as frosty cave as you have been in. Okay, I would like to take a few moments just to try to look at these panels and try and absorb as much of the information as I can. Okay. Just in case I have to make a... Um, just in case I want to try and recall it later. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. 
You'll notice that Rue kind of hangs on the edge. She does. She's not quite willing to go back into that room quite yet. Is this where you were held, Rue? Uh, yeah. Okay. Do you want us to check it out first before you come in? That would be fantastic. Do you want to hold my hand also? I will actually take your opportunity to hold your hand. Yeah! <laughs> I am very tired of being brave now. And Akutus will hold your hand and give it a little squeeze. As you go okay. up the, um, this rocky slope, up to the ground floor of the temple, Rue starts to um, stare at this room that she was in as you slowly move further and further into um, the ground floor area of the High Rock Temple. As you get to the end of this corridor and, you, and there's two paths on your right and left side, you hear noises from on the other sides as you hear a couple of soldiers or a couple of famed guards talking to each other Rue is immediately to, like behind Anakitos using them as a meat shield while still holding the hand <laughs> yeah that's fine Anakitos is so at peace with this you can hide behind him you don't mind <laughs> And Crash is going to make sure that he's also providing a bit of a barrier for Rue as well. Because Crash is a good boy. <laughs> I'm going to use the message cantrip to go to Rue. Would you like me to go in first? She just looks at you and nods. As slowly and quietly as possible drawing the rapier yep. and heading down. Sorry for interrupting. Okay. What were you going to say, Pyreus? Um, just that the guards are in that room, yeah? Well, they're, they're, uh, they're down uh, the other side of this long corridor. This long stone corridor and they're just talking to each other. Okay, we can't see them yet then, no? No, but you can hear them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but but Paul's been here before, so he knows yeah, yeah, the level hand. Yeah. And I, I certainly wouldn't. So, okay. So, Paul, you going down the corridor? Yes, I'm sneaking up to them. Okay. Could you make an attack <clears throat> with sneak, please? Actually, could you roll me uh, stealth? stealth. First? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Rue's going to be very bullshitty on this one, and the DM is probably going to hate me, Rain, for doing this, but, um, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to go on ahead and cast that little spell when I can see it again. Veil of Dusk. You can have that with advantage. <laughs> okay. And a plus one bonus to your armor class. <laughs> That's stealth only with advantage. Okay, it's 28. <laughs> oh dear. You, you managed to take both of them out with two strikes. He's racking up a body count. Oh my goodness. They both fall on the floor. You, you only have it for 10 minutes, so, but so utilize it as best as you can. Well, I've just killed both of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, them just on? waddle back to the rest of them. Yeah. Yeah, I took care of it. Okay. Is that too efficient? I'm good at what I do. <clears throat> no, no, I know you are. Just you know. These guys are usually a little more oomph to them, yes? 
I don't I mean, like a gift horse in the mouth. Well, the, as long as it is gift horse and not um, Trojan horse, they don't exist in this world, but I have a black of wreck of freeze right now, so you're going to have to bear with the thought track. <laughs> <laughs> I am at peace with it. <laughs> Crash is going to do, or would like to do, an investigation check on the bodies of the two people that Paul has taken down because he's okay. a bit curious as to why they were so easy and wants to make sure that they, there's nothing weird going on about them. Go for it. That's a nine! <laughs> you know what? You play just like normal black flag guards to you. I can almost see, like, it's it's an undead thing and Crash is just holding up this skull going, perfectly normal looking person. <laughs> Could I do a similar investigation? Sure. I'll help. Alright, thank you. Oh god! Yeah. Oh, it's 28. Okay, so you take a proper good exam of both of these bodies and nothing really seems um, off to you. I think we just have to see an on guard duty for a reason. There's a weak like ones on the edge roll to uh, 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 yeah. Parts of uh, whatever. Yeah, we all got what I was trying to say. Words. They're difficult. <laughs> it seems like we solved it, Crash. People. You know, I take back my concerns then. I did not know that uh, the criteria to get in was so low. They're going to have their bed with people probably have the uh, guarded up close. They do have one of the shards. And one would assume that they would know by now that I'm not where I should be. And where is it you should be? Probably still locked up. I don't think they were expecting you guys to be, you know, rescuing me anytime soon. So they've probably noticed that I'm not here right now and they've got their probably best people right in close. How often did they come check on you? How long did they come and check on me, DM? Um, I would say once every four or five hours. Yeah, once every four, four or five hours so they would know. Yeah. I'm missing by now. Yes. It's strange that there's no urgency around. No alarms or people on alert. Because they probably reckon that they... They know... Who we are as a group, they know what we can do and I think... They think that we're not a threat and that we're probably dumb enough to go right into the middle of all of them where they can hit us with everything that they've got. They seem to us pretty well. <laughs> yeah, that's well, exactly what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and Crush is going to look really awkward and be like, either I told them or they were going to do worse to Bruce. That one's worse, me. you say? Well, I mean, they did, they've they taken the tips of her bloody ears. Do you really think I was going to go ahead and risk them doing worst? Hmm. They were hurting Carry her. On. It is my fault that she's here. I, I just did what I thought was best to fix it. And Told you've you already been accepted. I'm just explaining for those that weren't there when I explained this the first time. They will know you well because I, they know everything that I know about you all. Sorry for that. Yeah, it's okay, we still have some surprises then. 
Yeah, to be fair, I haven't seen this one fight, and he points the room. Much more than the weird beam of light earlier. Well, let us consider the easy guards being an expectation for us to run guns blazing into the center. And so they can put yeah. their big guys on us uh, and maybe avoid doing that. Have I, slightly more than usual. Have either of you two seen any more of this complex or just yourself? Uh, again, that's a question for the DM. <laughs> no, you have not. This is the only. No. Just, just this ground level. Door, this, yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh. we were trying to sneak it, but we kind of got caught straight away. I'm not very quiet. I tried. I'm kind of realizing I'm not good at a lot of things here. Um, <laughs> and you can see that Crash is almost doing that thing where they're like almost wringing their hands and just like be looking really uncomfortable and almost like picking at the skin around their finger like their claws and that almost just like really try like anxious and nervous about the fact that he's done a lot of harm here <laughs> don't be too concerned crash you can always stick close to me yes we are working as team now Anything you are worried you have shortcomings on, someone else will be good at you. That is why we work together. We need to make a decision, are we going in more? Are we turning back around and going towards the icy cave section? What What is the plan here? Nice, let me go on. I can delay them. I can take on the appearance of one of their fallen generals. Yeah. Is it worth you doing that, Paul, and then going ahead as our kind of eyes and ears, and then you can always I, better I prepare than if you encounter you. anyone? I need to see you to be able to message you. Hmm. Okay, but if we're sort of a little bit behind you and you see someone, yeah, I suppose you can just maybe speak a bit more loudly than normal and then we'll, we should be able to pick it up. But I don't think we need to be miles behind you, both for your protection and um, our, our awareness, I think. If you prefer to storm straight in, then be my guest. No, oh, that's not what I'm suggesting. I'm just saying I think we should be not too far behind you, <laughs> but far enough behind you that we're not, you know, making tons of noise. Um, but we can at least be aware of what you're up to, so if you encounter someone, we can stop and wait. Well, I'm Unless about you to go. Just so. want to go ahead, and then the other option is you go ahead and then you come back. And then we move up, and then you go ahead and come back again, you know, whichever. What do the rest of you think? It's either I go in first, or we all storm in together. Well, I don't mind storming in, but I'm guessing your way is probably better. Perhaps there is a safer middle ground to go for. Uh, you are going in all by yourself, puts you at great risk of being discovered and would leave you stranded from the rest of us should something go wrong. Not ideal. And um, if we all go in together, we are inevitably going to be walking into um, people who probably expect us to do exactly that. So perhaps. Uh, we should instead get a bearing for the building 
see if we can uh, pick off any reinforcements that might be coming from the outside in. Uh, before we work on storming the, the center of all of this, where they are no doubt holding the shard. I can see to Ali's plan. You do not need to see to it by yourself. I do not want us to split apart. Last time we have done this, uh, we have had Wu back to us in this state. So we need some eyes. We need that. Who will go? I've got some things. I mean, gaseous form is still a thing. I've kept that. But, I mean, moving 10 feet. There's not really much point in that. I can world shape, although I would rather not. I can polymorph someone. To go in my place. Um. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not hesitate. Let's go. Alright, so you're going to go ahead and let us know what's happening. We'll stay a little bit back then. So, what was it said before? I am uh, suggesting that we should maybe move as group, see about finding uh, uh, the perimeter of the building, uh, orientating ourselves and moving in from there. <laughs> that way things cannot sneak up behind us when we are going further in. Well. <laughs> I don't mind what happens, but we need to decide on something. We're aiming to go in fairly quietly. Stealthily possible, which is easier for some than others. I can cover one person with stealth. That Corporal Davy grew eerily sullen and withdrawn, much at odds with his usual advantage. We'll remove the conviction. Mm. So it'd make you, you have a straight roll? Oh yeah, there's a... Uh... Oh, I'm sure we need to think of something then. Either that or, you know, if Shadram's down for it, polymorph. <laughs> What exactly what have we polymorphed into? I'm not too sure. Um... If Cobalt Press is allowed, I've got some ideas. Um... Sounds promising. And I mean, it would only have to be until we get there and then I could drop it. Uh, I'm not. Doesn't be anything. Yeah, I'm not familiar with uh, polymorph. Is it what happens when uh, if I was polymorph? Can I undo it myself? No. No, it'd be on me. My um, I think it might be best if I go on ahead and probably 
use Vital Dusk again. Um, and at least give you the fighting chance of a straight roll. Decides then. Seems you have more options available to you than myself. Mm. Tommy would call. I will admit I am probably going to let the side down on stealth uh, as much as Shadow and Will. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's one of those things that I can't pass upwards on. And it's concentration, and so it's polymorph. Hmm. Well, I can't help with silence. <laughs> well, me and Anakinos can always take up the rear, so we're not too loud. It's Another, so the WWF would swoop in and sign ta- yeah, final blows to behind. ECW. Guy Stay and range, loyal so friend help, and you know, even if they find and Dreamer could make a ton of money without the stress the of, of running the entire our, company. Um, uh, let's talk you, 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 can, you can say it better than me getting caught again. No, no. Yes. And Tommy began to weigh these I options. Bischoff wanted to run an ECW else, invasion uh, angle I, I on their show, but told Tommy that way. Heyman was not likely to go for it. Bischoff felt they could still do the angle with a guy like Dreamer. Feeling a loyalty to Heyman, Tommy would call Heyman. Uh, okay. I can hit one with... with the stealth one to make them at least be able to get a straight roll or an advantage whoever feels like they're going to need it more and then we all go from there if, if we're yeah. storming the castle does really need any stealth if we're storming it like they said like i thought the plan would be to kind of try and take them out bit by bit by bit Lower down the amount of people we're gonna have to fight at the end if possible. Is that not what we're doing? Well, there's the two options. Do we want to do it bit by bit or all at once? I mean, doing it all at once is probably what they're expecting us to do because traditionally that is what we do. We are very good at doing that. We are very good at doing that, but that is what they're gonna be. Expecting. Doing it bit by bit may be the, the thing that helps us. I don't, I don't know. Rekamar, you are rested, yes? I am. Therefore, you would have the power to destroy some of what is the castle. Mm -hmm. I could maybe do that. So if you put them into a panic so that they can't organize and then we pick them off <clears throat> one by one, would that work? Approach. Sure. And destroy this place, how? Uh, not destroy the entire place, honey. Um, just break up some stones, cause some panic. That kind of thing. I suppose it's lives. not a great plan, I know. No, no. Lives are more important than a temple. Simply, you know, not best karma. We're at war, Annie. 
and I would prefer it to stay against uh, people and not other gods as well. You and I should talk later. If that is what you wish, of course. My ear is open to you. We still don't have a plan, ladies and gentlemen. I guess we're doing it the good old-fashioned way. Go in there and mess some stuff up. Knock on the front door. Right, if we're knocking on the front door, then shadow and change of plan, we are at the front. <laughs> or you just go one room at a time? Yeah, why not? We can ask them for directions while we are at <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm that's going to go really well. Hello! I haven't just lost the tips of my ears, I'm, I've also lost my direction. Can you help? I'm going to be honest, I don't think they're going to cooperate with us, but you know. Hmm. I think that's the group decision. We're going in full force with Anakitos and Shadowrim leading the way. Okay then. So you'll briskly make your way up or go down the corridor and hunt for the stairs going to the ground floor. You find this small little um, staircase going upstairs and you look round the corners and there's no guards there but there's different rooms within this temple as you see as you as you walk into walking down one of the corridors you see two hooded Figures walking towards you, not armed, but they're wearing the same um, type of um, robes as you saw down in the ice caves on the bodies, and they just walk past you as they quickly hurry, and not they're not running, but they're blissfully walking like you are away from you. Can I speak up? You can if you want. Wait, wait. Well, one turns around the other one, dashes around the corner. Are you the seers? We are, yes. How did you... I'm we one of the senior um, members of the theaters um, I'm I'm a senior student here um, the masters are the ones that teaches us we saw the runes on the wall <coughs> We are dedicated to preventing Dracon's Rising. Can you help us? Uh, well, the thing is, we are kind of on house arrest by Lady Demona, so we can't really help you. I'm sorry, and he just scuttles around the corner like his friend before him. Okay. you want to do? 
No, I'm not going to chase him. Okay. No. So you carry on down the down the uh, down the long corridor. There are some rooms or doors that you're walking past. Small single doors. Do you want to check any of them or? We should probably snoop to see if we can find out where these fuckers have a shard. So. Okay. Uh, under Anakitos' direction, I will check any door he wants me to check. Eh. Uh, I will give you guidance if you need to make fucking stealth checks to nose in, but, um. I would have thought sleight of hand. Yeah. Depends if they're locked or not. Regardless, I ain't gonna. <laughs> I've got I ain't gonna do it for you. Tools. It's fine. Oh, nice. Do I check to see if the door is locked or? I'm just gonna try and open it. Okay. You turn the handle, and it opens. Wave everybody inside. It's dark. No one's inside. Is there any desks, drawers, anything that would contain documents? There's a couple of desks um, where you know some of the students here um, are taught. But it's pitch black in here. Mm -hmm. Recommend would like to solve that by casting dancing light. Okay. So you now see it's a, a small classroom. Yeah. Rifle through all of the drawers, please. Okay. You bow through all the drawers. Some of them are paperwork for the masters. No mention of anything uh, about the shards or anything. Useless. There's nothing. Hmm. We looked. This is just the one room. We just keep going. More luck elsewhere. So, look. There are two other um, rooms. Small, single door rooms. Until you get to quite a large archway with a it's a two door archway do, do you want to have a look at the two small rooms or do you want to go through the archway uh let's have a look at the two small rooms okay so you open the first one and it's a storage cupboard So just like a mop and a sponge. Yeah, yeah pretty much, yeah. <laughs> okay. And the other one you open, you see um, a monk. You see it's more light in here because of there's windows in this room, but there's a... Like, like you saw before, one of the seers sitting on this um, desk, writing, like, scribbling something. If we go open the door, you better close behind you. <coughs> I have six other people with me, sir. Just Would you... close the door behind you. You're letting a draft in. Okay, if we all want to come in. Yeah, he seems funny enough. Let's go. 
<laughs> I trust him with my life. <laughs> May I help you at all? I can tell you're not part of the Mona's lot. And he turns around and you see he's quite... He is a very old looking man. He's seen... There is... You can tell that he's withered in the eyes as well as in the face with a long white beard. But he's also bald as well as he slides his hood up over or his hood off his head. So speak up, what do you want? <coughs> well sir, um, we are looking for the tomb atop the mountain. Looking for the shards, she's got it already. No need to go looking for the two. Damn it. As he continues to scribble something in this quite big, um, fancy looking book. Does she need all the shards, or just one of them? Oh, if you... She needs all the shards to make sure that he, he is resurrected. She's collecting them, yeah? Of course she is. Yeah. She's only found one. Who knows where's the, where the other shards are? Who knows, Who knows indeed? indeed. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. But she has the riddle for the next one, so it won't be long until she has them all. Have they already left this area? No, they're staying here for the moment until they regroup. What my Aye. Grand Elder told us, that something happened in Iron Peak a couple of days ago. So they're, really? so they're regrouping here. What did you hear happened? Oh, something bad happened, apparently. Unless she bad for whom? Demona. Them? Them, Demona. Mm -hmm. Apparently she's lost two of her members already, or three now, if you talk about that changeling bitch. Oops, I mind my language, I shouldn't speak ill of the dead. Yeah, it was that's unfortunate. I was about bro cursing rather than speaking ill of the dead. <laughs> what do yeah. you mean you can say bitch? <laughs> so, do you know who is with her? Her lieutenants are in the big room over there. They're having... Well, last time I checked, she was in there. How many of her lieutenants are with her? Do you know? Imagine it's all of her left hands. Her three personal left hands. But I do believe that she might be on her own in there. She has three personal left hands. Anyway, you best stay in this room until you can get out. I don't want you getting captured now. Bad. I'm immediately going to look for exits. <laughs> <laughs> have, yeah, have any of you, have any of us encountered Lady Demona yet? No. No, we haven't. We're assuming that she's significantly more powerful than us, yeah? Mm -hmm. Has Rue really encountered her? Yes, she has. Mm hmm. She's the one who gave most of Rue's injuries. As well as messed up her mind. Okay. Ask the priest. 
to Sears. you. We're the Sears, Sears sorry. We're not priests. <laughs> we the priests, but we don't. Uh, you younglings don't even know what the fuck is all. Excuse my language, I said a bad word. <laughs> um, do you have any knowledge as to what her plans are? As in, is she planning to leave the, the temple soon? To go on searching for the um, these Not shards? Well, Grand Elder wanted her to go yesterday, but she struck him down, calling him insolent. And we had to drag him away because he was that injured. Yeah. What, for what I could tell, she's staying here until she has new members of her circle. Yeah, that, that, that tracks injuring someone until they have to be drug away. So what, she's going to promote new members from her order, is she? To become her new lieutenants? She's already promoted one. Ah, uh, you know what then, who they were? That long-haired bearded chap who came through that portal. He gave me a weird look. Yes, he is a damp here. Is he? Wait, was that was that or whatever his name was? Darren Facinus. Mm. Now, is a shard present here in this temple? Was. Yes, it was 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 and where might it be now in possession with the mona that's why i said don't you younglings ever s listen i see i was i was gonna say jesus christ but he's but we don't know who the hell he is, so... I'm <laughs> <laughs> I can write that in my little notebook. Who is Jesus Christ? <laughs> that is a question we all know. Anyway, if you ask me any more weird random questions, or can this old man carry on with his book? Well, I think you can probably tell us a lot of what we might need to know. Go ahead, what, ask me what's, Why is Lady Demona here? Just because this is where the to tomb of Dracon is? Nope. She is here to get the shard. Or one of the shards that someone told her was here. She's got the shard, and now she's making this her personal little fortress. This is why we should leave Piraeus immediately. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to think that. There's yeah. little to be gained from staying here. The best way out, then. Ask the seer, what's the best way to get out of here unnoticed by Demona? Notice, will that be interesting? Go out this door, turn right, and you see the big archway with the two doors? Yeah. Yeah, don't go through them. Go down the corridor <laughs> and go... <laughs> <laughs> Keep going down until you get to the exit and just head down the mountain as best you can. Is that exit through the ice tunnels? No, exit on... From the temple? From the okay. temple, down the... Down the snake way um, path. And it will lead you down... Well, out of the mountain range. Okay. Crash is, like, trying... Like, to doing this memory thing where he's literally, like... Doing, like holding his left and then his right hand out as based on the directions just trying to get memorized into his head and he looks really confused he's smarter than that now uh, um that is a lot 
of directions one is going to it's going to easily get lost on that maybe if we could have it written down all right he just shuts the book really angrily and gets a scrap cool. piece of paper and just draws a map that'd be easier what do you want? You want a description or a map? I go wrong. Yeah, do a map. I go wrong. Yeah. Whilst he's doing that, Crash, could you make me a perception, please? Oh, God! <laughs> um. Apparently, yes, that's 16. You hear a little voice in your ear. Oh, no. You're a good boy, Crash. You found them. Each and every one of you immediately sees this blue light orbiting you as your bodies are getting transported out of this room. And you immediately turn up in this room Oh, God. Fuck. <laughs> Crash, my dear. You've done so well by bringing them to me. Crash is backing away, like, in fear, like, he's just like, The fuck have I done? The fuck is happening? You may be wondering who I am. I am Lady Demona. You know <laughs> the former Darren Facetus, I, I guess. He go he doesn't go by that name anymore. I bet you'll find that out later. You're the ones who killed my circle of eight, aren't you? Not all of them, Lady Nimona. No, not all of them. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> and you won't either. Because I have a special gift for you. She takes her staff. I forgot also the description of Lady Mona. So, when you transport, your, when you've been transported here, you see a very, I would say, handsome-looking drow female on your left. A very evil, snarling dragonborn as well behind her sort of a cocky looking half elf to her right and you see your former friend Darren Faseus just giving a grin with his fangs being shown and in the middle you see this this elven female very beautiful looking with a very uh, I, I was going to say saucy number, it's not a saucy number very revealing um, um, attire but with the revealing attire you see her skin is grey with black veins going up her upper legs, up her arms and all up to her head with black circles for eyes as she raises this very ancient looking staff and she bangs it on the floor and a portal opens up beneath you and you all fall through this portal as you enter this area, you probably won't see it, will you? Because I haven't. A 
as you enter this area. How far are we looking likely to fall? I would say about 10 foot from the ceiling oh, okay. down. Oh, okay. Here's Alekitos, by Reyes, Rekimar. We can't move our characters. No, not yet. Calm down. We'll give him a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making him aware because it's going to be a thing anyway. Okay. So you all crashed on this icy floor where Lady Demona has transported you. Can we see the portal above us? Yes. You also take okay. 1d6 bless oh. damage. I'll do that mm -hmm. in a bit. Let me just sort out the tokens. Whilst I do this, do you want to do some role playing, anyone? Crush is already looking completely in fear for his life. I don't I don't know why she was being so familiar with me. I wasn't working for it, I promise. Can I believe you crash. Can I insight check on crash actually? Go for it. Yeah, go for it. Twenty two. Uh, uh crash is being honest as far as crash remembers. Got ya. <laughs> okay, so Paul is walking up to Anakitos. <coughs> As he gets there. You've kept something in safekeeping for me. Have I? Have you? My hat. <laughs> hat. I would like that back if that's all the same to you. He means business now. He's putting his hat on. <laughs> <laughs> Most people mean business when they take hats off. <laughs> <laughs> but Paul just has to be different. Ah, this means he's fucked now. Jesus. He's fabulous. Hair flick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the same. No, no, no. You gave it up. Are you telling me you refuse? I think I am. Why? Anakitos is going to take a moment, kind of assesses you, and he will say, When you gave this to me, you gave me a lot of your trust too, and you gave me your word you were to turn over a new leaf. So I can't have what is mine. I do not know what appeal you are finding in the past. An escape from the future. The future will come. You will not escape it. You will just avoid what is in front of you. He looks just really frustrated. Okay, fine, fine, fine. It's just a hat. It's just a hat. It means nothing. 
does not mean nothing. If it meant nothing, you would not be asking for it back. And if it meant nothing, I would not refuse to give it back. You asked me to help guide you. And I will do so. Okay, on the second part, I will lean on you then. Good, I am glad. What do you guys want to do now as you've been dropped into this icy cave? Can I make a perception check? Because Rue's got a feeling there's a reason why they've been dropped down here. Can I just roll what damage you all get from your... Yes. Two. Two. A whole two. Oh, Beautiful. Two falling damage. Yep. Beautiful. <coughs> can I roll my... Yes, you can. ...perception? Ditto, oh, can oh. I roll? Can I join the... Yep. 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 You don't Maybe can. I don't need to. I'll do it as well. Not that oh. I see anything. Must have landed on my head. Yep. Shadow room's got... So it's probably is. So only Rune knows. And I don't want to spoil it, so I'm gonna type it out to Rain for her. To oh know. God! What have I seen? What have my elf I seen? Uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> seen that they have taken the hobbits to Isengard and so much more. Don't worry. The hobbits, the hobbits, the hobbits, the hobbits. <laughs> we'll see the horrors together and only Ru sees the horrors. <laughs> so I just need to get my notes up. Hang on a second. C I carry on. Carry yeah, carry on talking. Hmm. Well, so is it is it a c completely enclosed area? Is it a completely no, enclosed area? Exit. And there's a, yeah, there's only one exit. Okay. No, that's it. Oh, down the bottom. All right. Then let's head towards the exit. Oh. oh, where's that <laughs> bloody... Oh. <laughs> Rue's making a funny noise, everyone. Rue, why are you making a funny noise? I... I... I it's not done yet. <laughs> I will let you yet. know. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> there is more. I'm going to cut this out guys, so yeah, just talk about yourselves whilst I do this. I thought I had the notes up, so don't. Um... Okay, take your time. So the thing about Nigel Farage is... Uh, oh, no oh, politics! <laughs> I know, I know. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, why is that not working? Don't worry, guys. I'm just sat here in absolute fear, <laughs> and I can't oh. say anything yet. Ah. Excellent. Got it. Are you ready? Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. I hate playing a perceptive character now. The suspense is killing me, John. That's good, though, isn't it? No! <laughs> it's good for a show, yeah. Oh. Bloody spell checking, piece of shit. I, I don't care about your spell checking, John. Bruce. <laughs> I'm in misery. 
Anxiety is raising high right now. Yes. Oh, fuck. So, is that in character? So, who wants to leave? Who wants to leave the, at the cave, the icy cave? Um, well, where, so. where, where do I see the thing? Uh, you hear it more than you see it. Where do I hear the thing? Coming from here. Oh, oh God, shit, I was it? moving in that direction. <laughs> Can I look up? Yep. Do I see it? You do see it because it's in the um, it's reflecting from the ice in the in the walls. Uh -oh. Guys, there's a dragon. As you all see or hear now. Boom! 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 Guys, there's a motherfucking dragon. Coming down. Drums in the day, yeah. Coming down this pathway. Is this huge white? Aww, huge. Right. Hang on. Huge <laughs> white. Oh, dragon. oh, okay, that changes things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's huge. Coming down. Icing death. And to you, as you, you have oh. never, you've heard of tales of dragons, but you've never seen one before. So you're very, very, must be very excited to be. To have seen your very first dragon. Terrified. And this is the Have you ever seen a dragon before? I mean, that's a saving throw against terrified. And this is where we get into a nice session. Oh, hello! So, how does everyone feel? <laughs> I just. Articulate. I'd just like to go on a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing a new pet right here. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> oh. It'd be interesting. Uh, like uh, I guess, I guess we know the meaning of the snow and ice will fucking kill. No, he looks friend shaped. <laughs> friend shaped? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can negotiate with dragons sometimes, I hear. Yeah. White yeah. dragons? Yeah, probably not, I but did yeah. say sometimes. We so, are not the ones to do that. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching tonight's um, episode. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon so you won't miss an episode. And we will see you next time. Bye bye everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. For we who are about to die, we salute you.